everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Um, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having a great week. And I am going to uh, start something today um, for you guys. And I meant to start it earlier, so I can't show you the final product. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. So what are we making today? Well, I like, especially at the holidays, to infuse alcohol with flavors. It just kind of makes it more fun when you go over to someone else's house. And on keto, we know that alcohol has no carbs, but you know, if you get something like Fireball, that's high in sugar, and there's other things that are as well. But if you infuse your, um, if you infuse your alcohol with uh, other things, then that will really greatly reduce the amount of carbs. So that's what we're going to work on today. I'm actually trying some new flavors. Uh, last year I made vanilla, cinnamon, and lemon. So those are some flavors that you can do. One was vanilla, one was cinnamon, uh, and one of them was lemon, and those were all vodkas. And I really enjoyed that, and I really wanted to branch out this year and try some different flavors. So I am going to do um, cinnamon whiskey and coffee whiskey. I'm going to do orange and vanilla uh, vodka. I'm going to do lime vodka. And then I'm going and uh, coffee vodka, and then I'm going to do coffee rum. So I'm trying to get a bigger group of um, a different variety. That's the words. <laughs> um, all right. So what I normally do is I usually save up little bottles if I get little bottles um, throughout the year. Or like today, I just went to the dollar store and I got six of these. Um, washed all of them on the inside, and they do just have some cork stoppers. These were a dollar, and so these are what I'm gonna be using today to start. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is show you all of the ingredients, how I've already prepped some of the ingredients, and I'm gonna show you how we put it all together. So let me go ahead and turn you down and show you. These are the limes, and all I did was I took a potato peeler that I don't use anymore because I don't peel potatoes, and I just peeled off the rind of two of them. Now you could, um, considering the size of the bottle, I think two is gonna be more than enough. And then also, I've already done that to one of the oranges, and I'm gonna do it to another orange. Now to prep these uh, fruits, what I've done is I've washed them really well to make sure that um, all of the, um, you know, anything that's on the outside of them has been cleaned off because definitely we're going to be putting it into the alcohol. And also you will want to, um, if you can, use organic. If not, these are not organic. Um, and what I'm going to do with the limes is I'm going to cut them up and um, put them in water. Now, as far as the oranges go, I'm probably just gonna throw away these two oranges, but I had to get a whole big bag. So I'm gonna save the bag and I'm gonna let my daughters, when they come next week, have them. I'm gonna keep these in the refrigerator so they don't go bad. They're already a little soft. All right, so I am going to start and I'm gonna start with the orange vanilla since I'm already uh, working on it. And all you have to do is just really just fill up the bottle with the rinds that you have. Um, you want to make sure that when you uh, peel off the rinds that you're getting as little of the pith, which is the white part, as possible because the pith is going to make it more, um, more bitey. And so we're really looking for just the, the smallest amount of pith possible so that we can, um, so that it'll be nice and sweet without adding any sugar. So I'm going to just finish putting the rest of this in here. I'm really excited about this flavor. I think this is going to be a really good flavor um, for us. Okay, and then here's some of those vanilla beans that I've used uh, in my other recipe on how to make vanilla. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and um, I thought I had a knife over here, but I don't. So I'm just gonna grab a knife. I'll be right back. All right, here's my vanilla bean. And I'm just gonna, you know, cut, cut it a little bit so that I can throw it in there. And I'm gonna use two of these. I want a good vanilla flavor, um, but not too overwhelming. So I'm just gonna do two of these instead of four. All right, now the next step is the easiest part. Today I am going to be using Svedka Vodka. This is a moderately priced vodka. You don't want to, I don't like to use a really cheap vodka or cheap alcohol for this um, because, you know, quality does matter, but you don't have to get the, the most expensive either. And so um, all you have to do from this point is just fill it up. Now you're gonna want to put labels on all of these because um, especially with the cinnamon, you're not gonna be able to tell uh, a difference in some of these once they're done. So you're gonna wanna make sure and label these really well so that there's no confusion. Okay, so there's one. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna put the lid on it and once a day you're going to go through and you're going to just shake it up a little bit so that everything kind of gets a little mixed up and you're going to do that for about three to four weeks until it's ready the next one i'm going to do is going to be coffee vodka because i really like coffee today i am using private selection kona coffee beans from uh, Kroger, which is a local grocery store here. And um, you're gonna wanna put in enough that it kinda coats the bottom. Um, I really don't have an exact science on it, but make sure that when you get coffee that you get the coffee that smells the best to you. So I'm gonna do that and here you go. Woo. I just made a mess all over my counter. Now, the reason I like making them in these pretty bottles is because you can very easily put a bow on it and take it to a party um, as a hostess gift. Um, and there you go. That's all you have to do with those is just... Stir them up just like you do with the other one. Alrighty, the next one I'm gonna make, I'm actually gonna do lime rum because I'm almost out of my vodka. So I will not have enough for a third bottle. So I'll just go ahead and do lime rum. Oh. And we're just gonna throw the limes in here. And this would go really well um, in any rum drink. Uh, rum and Diet Coke, this would be really, really good with a rum and Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi, whatever, you know, whatever one you like best. But that's all you have to do is just throw those in there. <laughs> Almost there, guys, sorry. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead, and today I am using Bacardi Superior. And this is, um, again, a moderately priced rum that you can get. Again, we don't wanna go all um, cheap, but you know, we don't have to go super, super expensive either. Now, because it's a smaller bottle of rum, you could absolutely just go ahead and throw them in here if you wanted to. Um, there you go. So there's the rum. And I actually have just a hair left, so 
we'll have fun with that later. And there you go. Again, you're just going to go ahead and do this once or twice a, uh, a week, especially once, you know, two or three days, every two or three days. When I don't, I'm not happy about this. Um, I wish it wasn't cork because I do have a concern about it. Make sure that you're holding it down really strongly. I was looking for the ones that had like the thing that went over the top and locked, but they didn't have them at the dollar store today. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is cinnamon whiskey. And to do that, all you need is some cinnamon sticks. Now, uh, yes, you can do Fireball, but Fireball is actually full of sugar. It's like 11 or 14 grams of uh, carb per serving and it's all just pure sugar and I promise you that the longer you stay um, the longer you let this sit the sweeter it gets um, so today I am using hold on uh, my dad's favorite whiskey which is Canadian mist um, again it's one of those moderately priced ones. And to do this, I'm just gonna go ahead, pull that little stopper off to make it easier. Um, there we go. And so guys, infusing your own liquor is just, just this easy. You choose the flavors that you think will go well together and then you just go ahead and do it. Um, there is a good three to four week um, of lead time that you need for these because it will, um, yeah, I don't like these at all. I, okay, but um, you will need a three to four week lead time because it does take time to steep all of this. Um, and the final one I'm gonna make today is going to be coffee whiskey. Now, realize you can do any, you know, any cinnamon vodka is really, really good. Um, I would think that cinnamon rum would be good. I actually have a bottle of wine that I was going to uh, do with mold spices, you know, cinnamon and cloves. And, um, yeah, I didn't have any whole cloves like I thought I did. Always make sure that you're using whole spices, like I used the whole beans. I didn't use um, ground coffee. I used whole cinnamon sticks. I didn't use ground cinnamon. And that's it. Um, guys, I will... I apologize that I can't show you the end result of these yet, but I promise you that um, on Instagram and on Facebook every week, I will show you a progress picture of how these are looking and what exactly um, each one is. And um, so go ahead and join my Facebook group or and or go ahead and um, sign up on my Instagram too so that you can follow the progress of these and I cannot wait to have these Christmas day with my family I think this is gonna be just a really fun way of celebrating a little bit differently so I hope that you like this video um, tell me what flavor you think might be the best and also what flavor do you think you might try and if you're going to try to infuse some um, alcohol as well have a great day guys i hope you like this video it's kind of a little departure from what i normally do but it's all fun so you have a great day and i will see you real soon